Hi guys, hi guys, Spartan765. Today, I'm going to compare two commonly used Russian rifles used in World War II. These two rifles are the uh, M9130 Molson Nagant. This is a war production rifle. One easy way to tell that is obviously the date on there. And um, um, there's no metal plates around the sling covers as is on this gun. And obviously the date too. If you Egyptian, you know, look at the date, that's your fault. The next rifle is the M44 carbine with hinged bayonet. This is another commonly used rifle, very commonly used, as is this one towards the end of the war. Especially it was very heavily used during the taking of Berlin. Um, I'm just going to go over basic facts or comparison of these rifles. Just line them up here. First of all, so I was saying the M44 carbine, obviously that's carbine is about 15 centimeters shorter than the uh, 9130. Um, okay, let's go over stats. Um, same same types of stock, both maple or, or ma both maple or um, walnut. I don't really know which ones they are. Same magazine, same bolt. Bolts are actually interchangeable on these. Uh, now, after pretty much anything after before this, to the left of my hand is going to be the same. Okay, now let's move into the things that are different. We'll start out with your 90, my 9130. One thing that is different is the sights in the 9130 are graduated to 2,000 meters. That's two kilometers. That's quite a distance. No one would be able to shoot that accurate with a iron sights anyway. Another difference, obviously, is the longer cleaning rod, longer hand guard. Uh, other than that, really, that's it besides it is a longer barrel. Now let's go over to this one. The other difference, main difference is for this, is this has sights graduated to a thousand meters, which is a little more reasonable. But for a carbine, that's a little far for accuracy. Um, another thing about this that I really, really like is the hinged bayonet. You know, you just pull it. Here, I'll show you how to do that when I hold the gun up. But Really, it, you'd use these rifles depending on what you're doing. Obviously, in the taking of the city of Berlin, well, depending on what you were doing, if you were infiltrating buildings, you'd probably want to go with the M44, mainly because it has the hinged bayonet. If you get into CQB, you can just shank someone with a bayonet, and you'll be fine. Um, some, uh, some advantages of the uh, 9130 over the M44 is the longer barrel, which means more accuracy. You can you can obviously mount a scope to both of them, but this is a way better sniper rifle than the carbine version. Another advantage of the carbine, easy to fit inside of vehicles, such as uh, troop transports and stuff, or APCs. The Soviets had one type of APC uh, during World War II, and they had the tanks. These were, um, they didn't really use these in tanks at all, obviously. They used PPSs in the tanks. Um, but yeah, the bolts are exactly are interchangeable. They're not like a Mauser bolt where, you know, the lobes have to be grounded pre precisely. These bolts on any Molsnagon, any parts are completely interchangeable because they were all made to exact same specifications. Um, yeah, okay, now I'll do the, where I stand here and do the part of the shit and yeah, other guns. Okay, let's start out with this one, the M44 carbine. Just get a little more light on the situation here. Hang on one second. This is the M44 carbine. Obviously, operation of the bolt is identically, is exactly the same. The thing I really like about this one, though, is the hinged bayonet. Pull back on it, spring loaded, flip it up, locks right on over the barrel, like that. These, this is a reminder to anyone shooting an M44. If you have your, if you're wondering why your gun isn't very accurate, or it's not hitting where it's supposed to be, if you shoot an M44 with the bayonet closed, it's going to be like that because this sets it off center. These guns, when the Russians sighted them in, they were sighted in with the bayonets out. So try shoot if your gun, you think your gun's off, try shooting it with the bayonet out, and that should probably fix your problem. Um, really, 
This gun's practically range usage is probably, I'm going to say, 300, 400 meters max. Um, it takes the same shell as the uh, 9130, but it's a carbine. It's not intended for long range. It's intended for medium range combat, close range, obviously, with bayonet. By close range, I don't mean full auto because you got a bolt. That's why for close range, they have the hinge bayonet for easy accessibility in uh, CQB situations. Now we'll go over the obviously the uh, here. I'll go over my M9130. Whoop, oh, shit. Okay, long rifle. Hang on, sorry. Oh, we're good. Just gotta check the time of the camera. Um, M9130. Very same bolt design. They're completely 100% interchangeable. Obviously, I forgot to mention they both take stripper clips. Well, by stripper clips, they both are 7.62 by 5.4 um, rimmed cartridges. And, uh, yeah. Sorry there. Just had to check the time. Because, you know, my camera will only do 10 minutes. Um, yeah, the 7.62 by 5.4 R cartridges. It's your standard um, Soviet. Battle rifle style, uh, battle rifle size bullet. This one is obviously identical, except the fact the barrel's longer. Making the barrel longer makes it a very accurate weapon. This gun with a scope is a beast. I mean, you could probably get accurate, accurate shooting it out to 1,200 meters, 1,200 to 1,000 meters. I mean, I don't know why they put 2,000 meters because that's way out of the question. Because at that distance. You got windage to worry about, elevation, humidity, temperature, all that other crap. You know, accurate with the scope though, it's 1,200 meters. Very, very good gun. Um, I've shot this one. This one I can hit a six inch paper at about 400 meters. So that's pretty good. I mean, all five shots in the six inch paper, 400 meters. That's, you know, obviously the target's in a bigger white piece of paper, highlighted bright orange so you can see it. But, other than that, very good guns. And I'm just going to show you one thing about the bolt interchangeability, if you don't believe me. As you can see, this is the uh, 9130 bolt. have to set these down, but see the uh, serial number on there? It's 80. I'm not going to show you the whole serial number, but it's 82. I don't know if you can see that, but 82. And I'm going to set this rifle down. Here is the bolt. I'm going to set this right by the camera. So you guys know I'm not screwing with you. Uh, M44. I don't know if you can see this, but bolt out of the M44. Now, I'm taking my 9130 bolt, putting it in the M44. See that? Complete interchangeability. I'm going to set this one down. And take the M44 bolt, which is right here, stick that in my 9130. Complete interchangeability. That's what makes the most in the gun. One of the most, really one of the best rifles in World War II. Because of its, its I'm sure we, you guys have all heard of the show show, the French machine gun of World War I. None of the parts in that were interchangeable with any other type of show show. Um, literally anything from triggers, screws, uh, bolt parts, all interchangeable, everything, which makes it, if you got a bad gun, you go pick one up off a dead guy, or the sole Russian, just probably pick one up off a dead, dead guy and just exchange the parts because, you know, that's the Russians. Crude, simple, effective, which is very good, which makes anything really good. You don't need complex cosmetic and you know fancy you need crude simple effective that's your most in the gun spartan 765 out